Hey folks, hope everyone is well. Now, we visit the Airbus assembly and delivery facility in Toulouse with our members on a regular basis. Uh, it's always a bit of a gamble. Sometimes it's quiet, sometimes more often than not, it's very busy and uh, we have a great day with our members. We always see aircraft being shunted around the airfield, being moved from fit out, taxi tests, RTO, and flight tests and we regularly see the family aircraft carrying out tests and crew affiliation flights. This is always the norm uh, on our visits to Toulouse. But on December the 18th, we were live to witness the inaugural test of some groundbreaking technology. Using their A350-1000 family test aircraft, Airbus performed the first ever fully automatic vision-based takeoff. So I'm gonna read out to you uh, the press release that Airbus sent through to us. And right after this, um, we'll be showing you um, a clip Airbus has successfully performed the first fully automatic vision-based takeoff using an Airbus family test aircraft at Toulouse Blagnac Airport. The test crew comprising of two pilots, two flight test engineers and a test engineer took off initially at around 10.15 um, on 18th of December and conducted a total of eight takeoffs over a period of four and a half hours. And we caught all of that live, of course, on Big Jet TV. So this is from Airbus test pilot captain Jan Balfils. Uh, I hope I got that name right. Uh, he says the aircraft performed as expected during these milestone tests while completing alignment on the runway, waiting for clearance from air traffic control. We engaged the autopilot. We moved the throttle levers to the takeoff setting and we monitored the takeoff. It started to move and accelerate automatically, maintaining the runway centerline at the exact rotation speed as entered in the system. Nose of the aircraft began to lift up automatically to take the expected takeoff pitch value, and a few seconds later, we were airborne. A few people will maybe ask about uh, what is the future of automated systems on board aircrafts. And um, just uh, backing that up, Airbus is saying, rather than relying on an instrument landing system, the existing ground equipment technology currently used uh, by in-service passenger aircraft in airports around the world where the technology isn't present, this automated takeoff was enabled by image recognition technology installed directly on the aircraft. And that's something that you will see quite clearly on the footage that you're just about to see. Automatic takeoff is an important milestone in Airbus's autonomous taxi takeoff and landing uh, atoll uh, project. Launched in June 2018, Atoll is one of the technological flight demonstrators being tested by Airbus in order to understand the impact of autonomy on aircraft. The next steps in the project will see automatic vision-based taxi and landing sequences taking place by mid-2020. So that'll be really interesting to see uh, hands-free taxi systems, no use of the tiller, um, automatic guided uh, taxi systems. Another statement uh, that Airbus say is that Airbus's mission is not to move ahead with autonomy as a target in itself, but instead to explore autonomous technologies alongside their innovations in areas such as materials, electrification and connectivity. By doing so, Airbus is able to analyse the potential of these technologies in addressing the key industrial challenges of tomorrow, including air traffic management, addressing pilot shortages and enhancing future operations. At the same time, Airbus is leveraging these opportunities to further improve aircraft safety while ensuring today's unprecedented levels are maintained. For autonomous technologies to improve flight operations and overall aircraft performance, pilots will remain at the heart of operations. Autonomous technologies are paramount to supporting pilots, enabling them to focus less on aircraft operation and more on strategic decision making and mission management. So quite clearly, you can see there that their objective is not to remove the pilot from the flight deck. Anyway, here we go. This 
is the piece that we put together. Again, like I said, it is a mix of uh, both Airbus's onboard and exterior footage, as well as our footage that we shot live on the day. Yeah, it's going under the uh, belly, that second line. Forward one definitely goes into the in towards the wing route and into the fairing behind the fairing, but the other one seems to be trailing underneath the belly. <laughs> 